But guess what, brother? You just exposed yourself with a lie. Why should anyone believe you? Just like the vaccine. Sir, are you vaccinated? You're trying to jump subjects, aren't you? I now? just want to ask you a Why question. Are you? You're vaccinated. <laughs> that's a fair question. You to, that's a fair question. You want, you want me to respond? Okay, so I, I think that's a fair question. Are you vaccinated? And then I want to I want to have sure. a discussion about prayer. Sure. If you ask me if I'm vaccinated, yes, I am. Because for my job, <laughs> I have to be vaccinated. <laughs> my friend, my friend, I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much wisdom you have. You fell for the biggest psyop in world history. My friend, everything you say just got exposed. You trusted the government. Uh, you trusted okay. the government. You are a fraud, my friend. You are an exact fraud. No one, but you, you trust the science. You trust the science. You failed, my friend. So here, I'm going to make this very clear for you. No matter what you say at this point makes any difference. You got vaccinated. You just, I exposed. Number one, you lied. Number two, you're vaccinated. Sir, everything you, you say is garbage at this point. Go ahead, Sneeko. You can have this. Once again, it exposes you that instead of discussing purpose of life, you want to jump to vaccination. Look, the vast majority of our country, especially those of us that work in the med device industry, that need to earn a living for our family, that had to be vaccinated for us to do the job, that we were doing. I was flying during the COVID pandemic. I was going to places where I could not work. I could not earn money for my family if I wasn't vaccinated. And if you think that me taking the vaccine, I, I'm not saying I trust the science. I'm not saying I'm a fan of it. I'm not saying any of that. But you think me taking the vaccination because I wanted to earn food to be on the table for my family makes it that people shouldn't listen to me? You're a moron. And you're out there talking all this stuff, people watching, everybody that's vaccinated, you can see what he's putting all of us into a category. I'm not saying it's about the science. I'm not saying I trust the government. I'm not tr saying that. But me, I had to make money for my family, for my work. Sure, type of one if you I had the same to be situation. vaccinated. You and that's why it. I did type get one, vaccinated. And that doesn't discredit anything I've said. Um, my friend, I have talked to many people who had to had families and they quit being police officers and they quit being fired and, and being the fire apartment. I know people who quit the NFL, who gave up million dollar contracts. Because let me tell you something, having to fly somewhere is not an excuse. You jeopardized your health so you could earn a piece of paper. My friend, there are other ways out. If you believed in God, the way you say you believe in God, you would have said no to the vaccine and you would have known that God would have found a plan for you and your family. But see, you're exposed as a fraud because you didn't have that faith in God. So you went like a sheep and you got vaccinated. Congratulations, sir. Your career just ended. <laughs> you know, for, if I had a penny for everybody who thought the end of the career of mine, I'd be, I'd be much richer than I am right now. First thing, I do believe in God. And God didn't tell me you can't be vaccinated. If it wasn't the Quran, don't be vaccinated, I'd never get vaccinated. And if you think I put my health at risk, alhamdulillah, by the will of Allah, I'm perfectly healthy. And millions and millions of people watching right now are also vaccinated and they're perfectly healthy. And just like I said, no, I don't wrong, necessarily, James, and then, again, you're being interrupted now, right? Now, again, people are watching, alhamdulillah, they're healthy, they're vaccinated. You know, for me, I got vaccinated because I needed it for the job that I have. It's not that I don't think God can provide for me, but I believe that God to put a responsibility upon me as a man, even if I have to risk my health to go out there and earn money for my family so they can have food on their table. I'm not making millions. I'm not here to try to get rich. I'm here to make sure that my family eats. And for that, if I had to get vaccinated, even if it put my health at risk, I'd put my life at risk to feed my family. That's a man. Go ahead, go ahead, you vaccinated? Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm not vaccinated, but I think we can move Thank on you. from this topic. We understand. Yeah, uh, you I, took an L there, boss. I, I think it's it's not going to move forward. Uh, right? I think you took an L and in your mind, you're trying to you're trying to make up for the fact that your fraud is exposed just because she was not vaccinated and i am doesn't mean you lied different. and you took the vaccine look, sir there's going to be other pre preachers who are going to replace you now look look fraud. look if i die today you don't believe in god out. because if you did you would have not taken the vaccine and you would have trusted in god okay. that he would have provided for you and your family you're a fraud sir Okay, we're getting the Lord does not we're forbid us from taking vaccines or medicine. Go ahead, move it that's on, Sneeko. That's not a you Muslim concept, buddy. Um, I'm born in the year of the snake, 19, uh, January 1978, and my enemy sign is the pig. So based off that information there, I will not eat pork because astrology told me so. How about that? Astrology okay. agrees with your Quran. I'm 
I heard your answer. Now, you said you tell all your followers not to eat pork, Correct. but not all of them are born the same year. So Correct. why should they not eat pork? Uh, because pork is very, very close to human beings and chromosomes, oh. and they should not eat that you, filthy animal. You, you see, you see, Nico, how you switched it up? First that's what you I'm, 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 I'm telling you now it's, why now it's I don't okay. do it. I got you. I'm telling you, so you why don't, you I don't pork. do it. Do you... Do you you, okay, again, you you tell your followers not to eat pork. Yes, They're but not, not for the same, same reason I do. As you. I don't so have to tell them for the same reason, the reason I do. I told but, you again, why you're, I you're, you're, you're speaking over me now. Right? If I ask you a question, that's different. You're speaking over me because you're coming. I see it. I understand it. Relax. Take a deep breath. Relax. We've ended more careers than this. Relax. When you said you don't drink alcohol, you don't eat pork, you live by God's law. God's law is in the scriptures, right? You actually follow the scriptures when you follow God's law. Okay. And then you're like, I don't need the scriptures, which makes absolutely no sense. You said that you don't eat pork because the year you were born, but then it contradicted you because you tell other people not to eat pork. And then you said it's very close to humans. Well, they're animals that are closer to humans. Is that the criterion you use for what to eat and what not to eat and what to tell people. Why do you not drink alcohol? Shake with my man. I, he's one of the, the funniest debaters too. And even Gary pointed out, I even I even warned Gary before. I met him uh, for lunch. Uh, thanks a lot to him for that. And I told him like, if you want to debate Shake with my just know like his debate tactics are, are, it's so difficult to debate him because like, he he knows i don't want to like reveal his tactics but it's not something he's ever told me but i noticed it like hosting it shake mama is like just the right enough passive aggressive and also direct at the same time because passive aggressive is is like that's how women will argue but he does it just enough to be direct and aggressive and, and at you but also being paid like he just has the right amount of patronizing to so you'll talk and then i'll talk okay are you finished are you finished are you done i let you speak now I'm going to speak. And it's like, <laughs> he just, he does the right amount to make you look like a piece. So that he knows how to disarm the aggressive nature of a lot of people. Cause Gary, especially like I saw it with Zerka, I highly recommend you guys watch that stream. Um, the debate that Sheikh Usman had with Zerka because Zerka will come in like, I'm the sword, you homosexual retard. And then Sheikh Usman is like, okay, are you done? Are you done? And you're like, uh, uh, and then they have to drop their guard. They can't go that aggressive style doesn't hit this i don't know if you guys saw it but it doesn't it doesn't pinpoint because shaking mind never drops his frame his frame is always like i know the truth islam is the one true religion and like are you done are you done because he's like you don't know that i islam is the truth and he kind of feels bad that you are that you don't know he's he's looking at you like, like oh, i'm you're gonna talk and then i'm gonna talk because it's like he believes so his faith is so strong it just exudes that this is the truth and he's he's like, oh, you you poor little, you stupid little stupid, you don't you don't know that Islam is the truth, oh oh, you're an atheist, oh, you don't you're a Christian, oh. And it's <laughs> but Gary too, man, it started off like I don't know if you guys watched the entire debate, but it started off. I did not expect this at all. I don't want anybody to call me a snake. I thought that Sheikh Uthman was being honest about his birthday. When he said his birthday and I was being 100% genuine, when Gary came with all that stuff about um, that you're hardworking, that you're honest, people respect you, you were once broken, now you make more money. I was like, whoa, he predicted everything. And then Sheikh Uthman was like, actually, it was a fake birthday. I'm like, what? But to be cornered, that early in the debate for Gary to come back like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're vaccinated. I, but the, the, no, that bomb drop, you guys, if you guys didn't see it, oh, the, the fake in the birthday thing, I was like, and Gary, I credit to him, did a great job of, of pivoting out of that because uh, I think a lot of other people would have gotten really upset and would have been cornered, but he did a great job of not backing down, of sticking true to, to what he believes in. That was a, such a great debate. Am I am I overreacting or did, was that really great? And I actually have to give credit. I think from all the people that Sheikh Uthman has debated on my stream since last year, and he was one of the big reasons why I reverted to Islam. I think that that was the best one. I think that was the closest one.